Louise from Gypsy Rose Divination. Welcome to today's um, flower channeling and healing video. Um, today we're going to be looking at the lovely lilac. The lilac can be a bush or a tree. As a youngster, I had a lilac tree in my front garden and I very much enjoyed it. A very sweet smelling, beautiful tree. First sign of spring. So um, if you don't realise, you've not seen any of my videos before, you can actually um, send the energies of uh, plants and flowers um, to people for healing, um, remote healing, and also you can what you call channel flowers and plants, trees, whatever, through the nature spirits, through the deva of the plant tree, flower, whatever. So that's the sort of thing I do. <laughs> so um, all I need you to do, I may talk, I may be inspired to talk, and other times I, the spirit, nature spirits will be sending their healing through my hands. Um, what I need you to do is just relax. Um, you can either sit or lie down, open or close your eyes, and uh, you may wish to look at the postcard. Today we're working with a postcard. We can work with pictures. We don't actually need the uh, actual flower with us. Um, so, yeah, and just um, say that in your mind or out loud, I wish to receive the healing today of the um, laven um, lilac. I'm saying lavender, it, it, it's similar, similar. Uh, I wish to receive the energy of um, lilac from Louise with um, peace, love and gratitude. So I'm just going to set the intention now. I'm just going to clear my throat. <coughs> Every time I talk, I have to clear my throat. I'm going to set the intention um, for anybody that watches this video at any point in the future to receive remote healing from this lovely lilac flower through the deva spirit of this flower, the nature spirits. So um, the healing is now set up. Um, the lilac is either, like I said, it's either a tree or a bush. Now it's first sign of spring. One of the first signs of spring. It's a romantic flower in flower psychometry. It's about the first stirrings of love. It's very innocent, very sweet. Um, light pale purple that's why i was thinking lavender as well very sweet smelling attracts the butterflies very, very strong grows very strong confidently um, proud of itself very pleasing to the eye First stirrings of love. This is about romance. I'm hearing the song. There used to be a song, We Gather Lilacs in the Spring Today. This is about meeting somebody, going and holding hands. Um, very sweet, very innocent. Um, it, it's white, purple. Um, spiritual almost relaxing we being relaxed with a lover your new lover gentle skipping skipping <laughs> gentle new romance but also the heavy scent could be meditation 
That's why it's similar to the lavender. If you was to meditate with a lilac, you could feel quite spaced out. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like a syringe, you know, but um, injecting. Uh, so it's almost like an anaesthetic. So meditating with this is like um, dulling, dulling the senses, but in a good way. So if you just need to switch off, I feel uh, almost like an anesthesia, anesthetic feeling. You just want to completely switch off, meditating, um, asking the flower day, the spirit to um, send you some healing with the lilac will help you switch off completely. You don't even need to think it's like being asleep but awake good for psychic work so you're feeling of euphoria when we are first in love there's a feeling of euphoria very much a feeling of euphoria with this magic there's also magic around Another aspect of the lilac is childhood. Going back to your childhood with the innocence and the sweetness. Playing in your garden, playing with the daisies, playing out in nature. It's like your playing and talking to your imaginary friend. So if you do have youngsters around, if they're talking about their imaginary friend, don't discourage them. Don't discourage them. This is how we get this um, intuition, the psychic feeling is knocked out of us at a young age. Encourage them. Let them daydream. It's all about daydreaming. Maybe they come home from school on their school report. The teachers sing. They're always daydreaming. Don't discourage that. They're looking out the window. That's fine. Sometimes. Sometimes we need to daydream. Send some healing now. If you want to feel a bit spaced out in a good way, then let's just have some receive some healing now. Let's just switch off for a few moments. As you learn to meditate, you practice your meditation, you may hear the traffic and the sounds around, but you learn to filter that out. A very, very heady feeling with the lilac. 
feeling of euphoria. The day of the, or the flower spirit is um, bringing, making me aware of being in the woods and smelling the trees, the bark of the trees. But, yeah, the trees, maybe some of you that are attracted to this lilac are also attracted to the wisdom of trees. Tree hugging, finding out about trees, learning about trees. Maybe you need grounding. There is the thing that when we work with the lilac, it's very heady, euphoric, anaesthetic, as I've said. But we do need to ground ourselves afterwards. So um, however you ground yourself, but being near a tree. Imagining a tree, imagining the roots would be beneficial after you've worked with lilac. Also, an, a note of warning about when you are first in love, the heady romance. Also, just keep your feet on the ground sometimes. Don't get too far, your head in the clouds. We have to come back down to earth occasionally. Enjoy it, but keep your, keep your feet on the ground as well. Also with your children, the youngsters, um, don't discourage them from their daydreaming, their imaginary friends. But when they need to be, when they need to be, um, you know, grounded and practical, make sure that you steer them in the right direction. Okay, I'm just going to um, disconnect from the lovely lilac flower now, and I'd like you to do the same. I feel very lightheaded, so I'm going to have a drink of water, and I suggest that you do the same. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for watching this video. As I've said on other videos, if you enjoy this type of um, content, please visit my website, gypsyrosedivination.com. Um, lots of articles I've written about flowers on there. I offer readings and healing. I'm now going to start doing this. So we're nearly in September. I'm going to start doing um, what we call flower therapy healing um, on Zoom. So I can send you healing um through the power of the computer screen live. So if you'd be interested in that, I can also write um, channeling a written report for you. I can do readings with flowers, um, maybe bring through mediumship. If you'd like to book, please see my website. I'm also on Facebook, uh, Pinterest and Instagram. Anything else? I don't think so. So um, I'd love to connect with you all and tell me what your experiences are with lilac. Do you feel it's about childhood? Do you feel it's about first love? Do you feel it's very heady, atmospheric, euphoric? Let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye.